Oke. Okay. Oke. Okay. <coughs> Assalamualaikum and a very good morning everyone. Thank you all for finding time and joining today's webinar. My name is Nur Patricia Binti Kamuzaman. I'm currently an intern at National Autism Resource Center in ERC, but today I'm the MC for this webinar. Just to inform our new audience, NARC is a one-stop repository and reference resources for anything related to people with autism, PWA in Malaysia, including research, services, and also consultancy. Okay, today's webinar will bring you a topic entitled How I Help My Child Become an International Award Winner, Art Jamila, that will be presented by architect Noah Shima Mawad Just to let you know, if you have any questions, you can write it in the chat box or the Q&A box because later our committee members will compile them and read it to the speaker at the end of the session. Okay, our today's speaker was previously an associate professor at UITM under the Faculty of Architecture and also a professional architect. However, currently she has become a full-time art manager for her daughter Wan Jamila or professionally known as Art Jamila. Jamila was diagnosed with autism at the age of four years old and began drawing faces to express her emotions and also used drawing as a tool of communication. Today, architect Noashima will be sharing her own personal experiences on how she broke the standard mode of teaching by taking a holistic approach with art as therapy and learning to adapt to her daughter. Please welcome Akita Enoashima. Akita Enoashima, I will pass the ball to you. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Hello. Hello. Yes, we can hear you. Um. Okay. So Jamila, say hello first. Hello. Hello, Mama. Okay. Hello. Hi, okay. Mama Jamila. Uh. Okay. All right. So uh, I will share my the screen of my PowerPoint now. Okay. All right. Can you see? Yes. Yes, we can see. Uh, okay. So um, let me start. Um, um on, on the slides okay okay um this is a milestone uh, of uh, my journey with uh, jamila uh, from birth until today okay uh, i want to highlight these are all the i have about 10 milestones so these are all the milestone uh, when she is three uh, four five seven eight 11, 13, 14, 15, and also 18. So these are the important years which I, uh, we have to make uh, decisions uh, on uh, uh, what to do with her. And uh, sometimes we have a change of direction due to a situation. Um, okay, now just a, a small in introduction, which I have been introduced uh, earlier. Um, I, I've been working as an architect for 35 years until today and uh, um, I run my own firm for 18 years um, and I've been lectured, um, you know, I lecture at UITM for 25 years uh, until the day I retire in 2015. Okay, uh, Jamila was born in a family of five uh, under unfortunate un circumstances, two of my son born in 1985 and 1990, died at a young age. And uh, my second uh, son, sorry, uh, born in 1988, uh, is a medical doctor specializing in occupational health and family medicine. And my youngest daughter, born in 2003, is a poet and author. She has won two best in English awards at the age of 15 and 16 and won two uh, poetry competitions at a global scale when she was 16. Uh, well, Jamila, born in 2002, she's a Southern artist. Uh, she is the fourth child um, in a family of five. Okay, uh, at birth, Jamila was born normal and healthy. At one year old, Jamila was active and very attentive with good eye contact. At two years old, Jamila was still active and very attentive with good eye contact. At three years old, Jamila had difficulty in verbal communication. She also had some neurological disorders. 
She developed some characteristic of autism and was diagnosed with having autism and ADHD at the age of 14, eh, four, at the age of four, sorry. And at four, um, Jamila had many challenges. She have all the challenges in autism, the communication challenges. She have all the social skill challenges. She have all the behavioral challenges. She have all the sensory challenges and also educational challenges. Basically, she was mute. She didn't have any eye contact. Like I don't know how to, uh, um, you know, deal with her. Um, I mean, everything was very difficult at that time. Uh, my life started with a new normal when Jamila had to start with daily early interventions. I had to attend consistent intervention uh, such as the applied behavior and also consistent intervention at home and uh, speech therapies and education, uh, occupational therapist visits. During those years, I was busy uh, with uh, uh, my double profession with multiple responsibilities and commitments. I started my travels in darkness and was not prepared for it. It was hard, challenging and very painful. I was an associate professor in UITM. I speak at uh, Pertubuhan Architect Malaysia uh, to the architect sitting for professional part three. Um, I was in the board of architect part three as uh, examination committee for the professional exam. And I am also the principal of my own architecture firm until today. I manage architecture projects at local and international sites. I am responsible as a submitting person to local authority and as a leader in construction industry. So can you imagine I had to juggle my tight schedule with spending, uh, uh, sending and spending time with Jamila to an early intervention center. So my new journey started with observations and research and it was like I have no social life. So I started uh, to realize that Jamila tried to communicate with me through her sketches. Let me show you a video of what she do. Okay, this video shows Jamila drawing digitally using her forefinger and her tablet on her tablet. She, uh, when she was first given uh, the tablet, she explore and download uh, the software herself without anybody assisting. Her. Okay, so uh, she tells stories of events uh, to me uh, through her drawings. Someone broke her car remote control and then she wants to say that she dropped and broke her toys and cried and finally overcame it with a smile. Uh, she showed the many different uh, expressions that she can have and she shared her present with her sister and she put it on uh, her drawing. And she also showed um, she was scared when she dropped a cup uh, of water and became happy when she cleaned it. So this is how I, I know what's going on with her because she don't speak at that time. She was happy and but something happened. And then uh, after that, uh, she resulted into crying. And when uh, she was happy, but something happened and then uh, she cried. So uh, when she draws all this, I have to investigate uh, what actually happened. And then her emotions um, uh, when she is sad and then she, her feelings when she feels emotional and when she really cries and her emotions when she is happy, her emotions when she is surprised, her emotions when she is angry, uh, when she wants uh, to tell that she is uh, shy and then when Jamila is clueless and wants to say that I don't know uh, when Jamila wants to say that she is trying to think, so give her time. And then her sketches are showing her bedtime stories, uh, her sketches showing her spa um, and also shower activities. You know, when I teach her how to shower, how to dry herself, how to get dressed too. So she will put it everything into her drawing. She also sketched her grooming activities, like after shower and after you know, um, how to groom herself. She sketched all the food that she likes like ice cream, cakes, uh, lollipops, and fruits. Uh, she documented the moments of um, her delicious dinner, 
uh, with all the showing all the hot because she likes to eat something very hot so you can see uh, the smoke of the hot there so she also put her birthday celebration into her sketches uh, she drew her daily living skills activities like uh, putting dirty clothes into the laundry baskets. She also sketched all the house cleaning activities that uh, she was involved in. And she documented her sweet memories of holidays into her drawings, like uh, taking the monorail, uh, visiting Penang, KL Tower, and traveling on an aeroplane. The moments uh, she enjoyed most were the packing and the traveling by air uh, and the various activities during her trip to Singapore were captured also by her and the water sport and beach activities in Penang uh, also in her sweet memories. Uh, Jamila also documents some moments with her sister like uh, spending time together, enjoying food together, and then cleaning the house together and arguing with each other and also when they were not in good terms. So Jamila also uh, put um, her precious memories with uh, me and her sister um, into her sketches. These sketches uh, influenced her famous and uh, truly this masterpiece uh, when she started. So she uh, she started making famous with literally this painting uh, in 2017. So there are many options uh, to communicate: verbal language, sign language, body language, and also art language. And Jamila's method of communication is art. She uses drawings to reveal her feelings of happiness, um, sadness, and anger. Looking through her art is like uh, reading a story. So art is my voice and it is poetry. That's uh, by Art Jamila. One of the early intervention programs she attended was Urban Ito's uh, Early Intervention Center that focused on language uh, arrangement and stimulation. So the founder of the center said, Jamila is a joyful and free-spirited girl who is uh, set to soar to the best of her potential. Art is a language to communicate to the world, uh, Dr. Nori Raja. You uh, can um, always visit their website at www.urbanilitos.center. Um, um, so at five years old in 2007, um, we sent Jamila to a normal kindergarten, Kadika Sri Cahaya, in Section 13, Shah Alam. Um, she slightly progressed for the two years she studied in the kindergarten but remained non-verbal. Um, and then at seven years old in 2009, Jamila continued to be non-verbal. In the same year, uh, Jamila joined a normal private primary school, uh, Scholar Sri Ekma in Klang, Selangor. I set an objective for Jamila to socialize and take part in all the school's activities with the normal children to normalize her. And I assisted and strengthened her academic guidance at home following the school's academic uh, schedule. The vice principal of the school said, every child should be given a chance. Nothing is impossible to achieve. Seek and you will find by Mr. Li Pengxiong. We are very lucky uh, because uh, everybody in the school are very understanding uh, and they accommodate um, someone like Jamila. So at school, Jamila drew events that involve people in all her exercise books. When she came back from school, this is what I get. She drew the chaotic classroom environment with children screaming and crying. At that time, she's very sensitive over uh, sound, uh, so we should, she don't like it. So she came back and draw all this, uh, you know, noisy and chaotic uh, situation. She also drew the vice principal giving her speech during assembly. She also drew her extracurriculum activities and the school's annual sport event was captured into her notebook and uh, she also showed that she won a medal in her digital drawing in 2010 when jamila was eight she started with a series of massage therapies called cranial sacral at the renew earth life therapy center so this massage therapy regulate the flow of cerebral cerebral spinal fluid of the spinal cord and the brain. This therapy gives a positive impact to Jamila. I see some improvement in her um, after this massage. And the therapy said 
Her weakness becomes her gift and she is now sharing the pure rhythm of life with the world. Sam Moisu. In early 2010, when Jamila was eight, she attended an intensive program by a dyslexia specialist for three months. Jamila overcame her literacy difficulties and was able to speak short sentences and read. So this is a really breakthrough for me when she's able to read and it's easy for me to help her. The dyslexia specialist said she learns differently. Her sense of curiosity and her ability to see the world in her unique perspective is indeed her source of creativity and brilliance. Nasa Agama Manudin. She said one doesn't have to be perfect to achieve big dreams. Um, before this, actually, we sent Jamila to so many other centers um, that focus on, on autism. Uh, I still can't get her to speak and read. And, and surprisingly, um, at first, um, the specialists of dyslexic, um, you know, reject, they will refuse to, uh, to teach Jamila because they say Jamila is autistic, not dyslexic. But surprisingly, the, their, their technique of teaching um, is very effective for her. So Jamila was so happy for being able to read and drew her reading lessons uh, with the dyslexia uh, therapist. And once Jamila was able to read and speak, I started daily classes with Jamila and my youngest daughter at home and discovered the way Jamila thinks. When I taught Jamila how to draw a 2D circle, Jamila developed it into a 3D object. Um, so therefore, she sees a circle as a spear and a square as a cube and a triangle as a pyramid. Uh, therefore, Jamila is a visual thinker, not a language-based thinker. Uh, when I discovered this and I realized, no wonder I can I can communicate uh, to her and she also cannot communicate to me, like whatever I see she don't understand, it's by the vice versa. So um, after knowing that, uh, I understand the way her brain works, I decided to break from the standard mode of teaching and learn to adapt to her, to my, to my daughter instead of leading her. So if they can't learn the way we teach, we teach the way they learn, uh, Dr. O. Eva Lovas. So I studied many express notes to learn about the primary school curriculum uh, and formulated my own curriculum tailored to Jamila using an experimental teaching method. Everyone is born different and learns differently. Therefore, the application of the standard way of learning is not appropriate. Uh, the structured learning system is not suitable for Jamila. This is the timetable of primary school when she was in standard one. And uh, however, a modular system is more flexible to accommodate a visual thinker like uh, Jamila because it focuses on a specific task. If you see here how flexible it will be, a modular system can accommodate different learning paces. You know, some kids, they learn numbers very easily. Some kids, they have difficulty, they need longer time. So that is why uh, this modular system is more appropriate. Actually, not just for autistic, but it's for everybody. And, uh, you know, it has a flexibility in learning duration for different types of modules. This is a sample of a modular teaching technique for subdivision that was well understood by Jamila. And she can do maths like more than 50,000, 100,000 subdivision easily. I customize my own workable solution for Jamila with a learning system that is people-centered with a learning outcome of understanding, application, discovery, character building and responsibility, social skill, uh, that is a learning, taking turn, and survival skills. So I experimented the different techniques as well to accommodate all types of learners. The daily activities with me urged Jamila to sketch them in her art. Here she was saying that she learned maths. In her art, she also documents my feelings while teaching her. Jamila would often write a message to me, Mommy, don't scold me like that. So every time I want to start session, she will give me this uh, drawing. I applied the training of patterns in math exercises and tested it on both of my daughters. Jamila is autistic and Jemima, who is normal. Both of them improved from 42% to an 88% score. 
So Jamila showed improvement in her math score at school from 40 to 74 in standard two in 2010. And she maintained the score for many years and scored a 70 in standard four in 2013. Uh, when, Jamila started, when Jamila started to acquire knowledge and understanding in learning, she started to have connections with the teachers at school. Her sketches explained her feelings of enjoyment in learning. She, she came back and draw her math teacher teaching and her English teacher and, and people, the children are happy and she is happy too. It can be seen that Jamila can do well in maths paper one. All her answers are usually correct and uh, she likes to draw happy faces on the cover of the exam paper. However, she was weak with mathematics paper two because the paper involved problem solving with comprehension question. At this point, she was still weak with a composition and comprehension. Although she tried to answer the question, she gave up. So, and uh, she wrote, I don't know, with a drawing of a crying face next to the question like that. Um, a learning method with mind mapping is very effective for a science subject. And uh, I conducted a lot of experiments and models as a tool for learning. Uh, with this learning, um, you know, Jamila improved in her science marks from 40 to... Uh, okay. uh, and then these sketches show Jamila enjoying her art lessons. And uh, I also taught my daughters, two of them, together with other children uh, that have problem with learning at school during the school holiday in December. This is uh, because um, autistic especially, they, they, they are very sensitive towards environment. So I want them to be familiar with the environment of the class. So I pick the class that she will be in the following year um, and the school allow um, me and another parent to use the, the class uh, for teaching during December. Sacrifice comes before success, Hemraj Kuta. From standard one to standard three, we employ a support aid to monitor Jamila at school, especially during assembly, recess and also other school activities. And I make the support aid to report to me every half an hour. Uh, I give her a timesheet for her to fill in. In 2012, at Standard 4, it was unfortunate uh, for Jamila when the school denied having any more support aid. Because at Standard 4, the school said she had to learn to be independent uh, because they want to concentrate with the formal um, to be serious uh, to prepare for UPSR. So um, she became, uh, she had to be totally independent at school without any support aid. Um, sadly, she was bullied in class and always ran out to other classes because her pink pencil box, as seen as her sketches, was hidden by her classmates every day. So uh, in 2013, when Jamila was 11 years old, I decided to make her repeat the standard four and join her junior cl upper class, which was her younger sister's class. And uh, the picture shows Jamila's happy expression uh, when her new classmate accepted her well. And also Jamila started to sketch happy people and name her classmate the team Rainbow Dash. Every problem is a gift. Without problems, we would not grow. Anthony Robbins. So the problem of her uh, getting bullied is actually, uh, um, you know, a blessing. Which uh, I made her repeat and join the upper class uh, at her junior, and she became happy and they accepted her well there. So Jamila memorized all the local numbers of all her friends in school and sketched them with smiling faces. So Jamila was well accepted by her classmates and she was very happy. Happiness can exist uh, only in acceptance. So Josh Orwell. Jamila sh also showed her ability to dance at school for her annual concert, she could perform a complex dance after having observed a specific dance movement briefly. So she sketched the dances with her classmates during the concert in her exercise book. 
happy come children learn best daniel goldman so what is the key point here that you have to put your child in a very happy environment for them to learn best all the dance steps taught by her teacher were put into her drawing using pen on paper the this sketch uh, comprises of the many dance moves she and her friends had to perform on stage she also sketched the dance movement digitally the annual school concerts were enjoyable moments uh, in primary school for Jamila. She also drew all the happy moments uh, she experienced during her class party and the memorable moments of giving presents to her teachers during Teacher's Day was also drawn by her. And um, this is how she saw the boys in her class. And uh, the Yuri Merdeka celebration at school interpreted by Jamila. My efforts finally proved fruitful when Jamila managed to sit for UPSR, the government elementary examination at the age of 13 in 2015. There you can see that she is standing right in front there with an I put her name there, Jamila. So abundance of hurdles bring abundance joy. The vice principal of uh, Sri Akma Primary School said, a rather timid appearing little girl clutching her mother's hand and walking through the gates of Sri, so Sri Akma in the year 2009 soon became the talk of the school. Her extraordinary talents in drawing and dancing were tremendous. She used to score A for her art and multi praises for the audience, from the audience who watched her dancing. Although diagnosed with autism, she managed to score an C for her science in the UPSR examination. She also captured the hearts of the other schoolmates and teachers. Having taught her makes me feel proud of her achievements. The fruit of the labor of the teachers in Scholars Rikma shines like a star, and she is none other than one Jamila, Miss Anthony Jude, Judith. Miss Judith Anthony. Okay, why fit in when you are born to stand out? Dr. Seuss. In December 2015, I decided to retire early as a lecturer and focus on Jamila's education. I enrolled her, uh, I enrolled Jamila um, at SMK Section 9 in Shah Alam Selangor with new hopes. First is um, uh, I want to enter the school inclusive uh, program for the government's DTT girl and also SPM examination. And secondly, is um, you know moving towards the government system in order to enter faculty of fine art at local university UITM. That's my first original uh, objective. However, when I discovered I had cancer in August 2016, I had to undergo two major operations. With this, I had a change in direction to homeschool Jamila and concentrate on her inborn skill to draw. Now, I became a mentor and art manager to Art Jamila. If you change nothing, nothing will change, Tony Robbins. So the butterfly that makes a home of its cocoon will never fly, um, Deborah L. Johnson. So I began to collect uh, curatorial views uh, from local artists to review Jamila's sketches from her early years. She also obtained their opinions regarding Jamila's ability and talent in art. This uh, was a review session by a local artist, and this was an art critic session by local artists at Shah Alam Gallery. Their opinions were as follows. They said uh, that they saw great potential in Jamila's early drawings and that uh, she was truly born an artist and her imaginations were also wild, making her different and unique. Um, with this, uh, give me the positive, uh, um, you know, uh, with the positive feedback, I, uh, then I continue um, to homeschool her. Um, I have lost a lot of time, like about eight months during my, my operation period and all that and recovery. So uh, it was too late for me to catch um, uh, Jamila uh, and, and, and then move her into inclusive program for PT3. Uh, because when I look at the curriculum of PT3, it's very, very tough 
for her because she's weak in comprehension. Uh, so I don't think she can do that. And so I decided to have a change in direction. So start with what is right rather than what is acceptable, runs Kafka, and the desire must come from the child, not the growth. Um, you see, uh, when I learned that uh, when a child is happy, they learn best. So when I see um, that, uh, you know, uh, the suffering that I will go through uh, with Jamila for PT3, uh, that will make things worse. So uh, since she is so happy and her talent is naturally, uh, you know, she has the natural talent in art. So therefore, I decided uh, to start her art career. So, and I map out the various route uh, for a visual art. And uh, of course, you know, there's so many and the best is uh, route F, which is homeschool system that will enable Jamila to progress as an artist at her own capacity. So my homeschool approach, uh, I took an opposite route uh, to achieve her ideal profession instead of the norm of moving from bottom up which is like the normal, uh, which you go to school, university, and, and have your profession. I decided to move from top bottom, create a profession, and then I, um, you know, parallel to that, I have all the other required uh, um, therapy, required uh, skills that uh, she needs for survival. For the homeschool curriculum, I customized customize my own workable solution for my daughter with a learning system that is people-centered. I took a holistic approach with art as at its core. So the major uh, core subject is art, uh, but of course she needs to learn other things like comprehension, social skill, home science. So parallel to art, she also, I, mean, I also implement other basic skills like comprehension, survival skills, and also social skills. Her participation in sport activities is part of my curriculum, swimming, running, national autism sports. Social skills in curriculum is an ongoing training. I created AJ Friends Club for Jamila to have her own group of friends. Since she didn't go to school, she so therefore I invite friends, you know, and, and, and have activities uh, for her to have friends. And other social activities are also a bonus to Jamila. Okay, apart from performing my task as a mother, tutor, teacher and mentor, I also perform my duty as an art manager to Art Jamila, participate with all art exhibition, attend media interviews, speak at conferences and attend meetings. Um, okay, Jamila's art career started with a very humble beginning by opening a booth uh, in several bazaars and mini solo exhibitions to obtain feedback from the public in 2017. So these were booths at TM Convention Centre and Wan Utama. Uh, our first booth was at uh, Convention Centre uh, TM. Um, and also this was the booth at uh, Art Bazaar by Bank Negara Malaysia. And this was her mini solo exhibition at Concord Hotel in Shah Alam, officiated by the Crown Prince of Slango. Jamila started the year 2017 with an international group art exhibition in Mango Mundi with 600 artists from ASEAN countries, Malaysia, Singapore, Indonesia. They are all uh, professional artists. Uh, and uh, during this exhibition, she obtained a media coverage uh, by TV Tiga, uh, a documentary was done for her. From 2019 onwards, Jamila received invitations from prestigious mainstream galleries uh, to join other professional artists in group exhibitions curated by professional curators. So the, the selected shows were in Ingenious Soul at Gallery Prima NSTP in January 2019 at a national level, and then Espressi Malindo at Sha'alam Gallery in July 2019 at an international level. Uh, this is uh, with Malaysia and Indonesian artists. And RACS uh, Art in 2019 at KL City Gallery in December 2019 at national level. And Sakaki International Art Show in September uh, recently at KL City Gallery. 
Uh, Travel Sing 175, um, this is um, to celebrate the 175 uh, anniversary of NSTP at Gallery Prima NSTP in October 2020 at an international level. And also Pameran Tembuka 2020 at Shalom Gallery, we just received a letter that uh, Ho is selected. So Jamila started her first public life painting session as early as 15 years old in 2017 and continued drawing life at events and competitions. The first one was the 10 feet by 9 feet mural at uh, SNK Section 9 Shah Alam Sangor in May 2017 and her live painting competition at National Art Gallery in July 2017 for Negara Ku Poster Competition. She won as a weekly winner. Um, she had to go there and take the paper given by them. Uh, so she had to sketch from zero um, until the work is done. Uh, in the month of the country's Merdeka celebration in August 2018, Jamila was invited to draw live with other professional artists for the theme Merdeka. In November 2017, Jamila drew live at Museum and Art Gallery by Negara. And her live paintings continued in April 2018 at World Autism Celebration event. And she was also invited to compete in the national Olympic competition involving the champions from each state in Malaysia. They were mostly professional artists that graduated from art institution. Being the youngest and the only autistic competitor, Ajamila was very grateful to be able to grab the third winning place. She was also honoured when she was invited by Angkasa to collaborate with the Faculty of Art and Design from a UITM branch in Kedah to paint a 6 feet by 20 feet mural at Genius Kronia in Kuala Lumpur in conjunction with the Malika Celebration 2019. So here they are using her painting, um, Unity in Diversity. And she also did a live painting at Intermark Mall for Embrace Autism events. I want to link to the video. Okay, this is her sketches. And he did the, sketch, the pencil line sketch first on the wall at SMK Section 9 mural. And this is... Um, the moments of her doing live uh, drawing at National Art Gallery. She won as weekly winner. And this is a painting, uh, Merdeka theme at one summer where she had to draw in public. And this is at Bank Negara, Malaysia. And this is um, a World Autism Celebration event uh, viewed by the promissory of uh, Selangor. And this is the live painting, uh, the ability competition. Uh, she's competing with all the adults when she had to draw live two paintings in, in a day for six hours. And this is uh, the mural sketch that uh, line drawing on the wall first. Okay, and um, um, these are all the other live painting that she did. Um, numerous other events involving video shootings by media crew at her art studio and also various TV stations. In 2019, I continued to explore in coaching Jamila to create marine creatures in order for me to um, um, overcome, uh, you know, the effect of chemotherapy and radiotherapy treatments for my cancer. So the greatest strength is the spirit of endurance. This is the octopus sculpture, and this is the fish sculpture. Jamila really enjoy doing this because it's 3D. So all my effort paid off when Jamila became an international award-winning savant artist with a distinctive personal style. 
Here today, uh, my daughter puts history onto the canvas, and uh, I would like to go through quickly on all the awards that she has won. On uh, 29 July 2017, she was the weekly winner of live painting competition called Nicaragua, organized by National Art Gallery. On 28 July 2018, she won the third place at National Olympic Live Painting Competition. Her art was also featured in the Najamin Mighty Run 2018, and it was a success. Okay, she also um, was awarded with a national level merit called the National Autism Champion in conjunction with World Autism Awareness Day on the 2nd of April 2019. Her painting titled Unity in Diversity Series 3 adorned the Putrajaya sculpture at Putra Square for the country's Independence Day celebration in 2019. It received numerous media coverage worldwide for this um, mural. And this sculpture won the President's um, Special Recognition Award under My Place MIP Award, uh, Excellence in Place Making. Okay, and her painting titled Unity in Diversity, then series one was painted, um, uh, was painted at the, uh, sorry, okay, this is a video on the mural at Genius Cunha. This, this is the original painting, and then transform onto the wall. Launched by the president of uh, Ankasa, yeah. and uh, okay. okay, so um, another breakthrough for her is uh, when she was appointed, uh, and she is still now as an artist uh, from two thousand twenty to two thousand twenty two for uh, Via Talenta Foundation in Switzerland. It is a company on uh, regarding. Um, you know, climate change. Okay, and on 5th of May 2020, she won the first place in an ASEAN frontliner competition. On the 14th of May, uh, Jamila received a consolation prize from National Art Gallery Kuala Lumpur for Portal Go Gallery as well. She, um, in the video, we had her, you know, I actually put uh, the, the process of her doing the painting uh, from sketches to putting it on canvas. And thank you to the National Art Gallery for giving a consolation prize to Jamila.
Okay, in June 2020, um, she was featured in AFP's World Generation Z uh, article as a visual artist. AFP is um, Agency France uh, Press. Uh, they send their crew to our studio that it was uh, during MCO, but of course with the social distancing. And the news, she, she uh, achieved 193 world news. Um, the news went to all the six continents of the world. Okay, and then uh, she continued to win um, to be selected also on the fifth, um, ten of May. Um, she uh, her painting was shortlisted in a global painting competition under the theme United Against Coronavirus. And then on the 10th of June, um, she won the Choice Award, uh, her painting title, Heal the Earth. This is an uh, earthly art competition for climate action. It is an international competition. And on the 2nd of September 2020, her painting title, World Peace, was selected as a header for World Peace Project 2020 in USA. And on the 13th of September, uh, her painting, Our Hero Series 2, was selected for World Peace Project 2020 in USA as well. And uh, uh, Jamila's painting titled Our Hero Series 2, the same painting, was selected as a memento to the Prime Minister of Malaysia, the Honourable uh, Tan Sri Dato Dr. Haji Mohidin Yassin, for officiating the uh, Malaysia Urban Forum recently. We had a very little um, like exhibition of uh, some of her paintings. And um, Jamila uh, had to go on stage alone and answer question alone uh, by the Prime Minister and other ministers. Uh, I was surprised that she can do it. And uh, finally, uh, she appeared in British media, encyclopedia titled Test of People in Malaysia, which was published um, in October 2020 by British Publishing House. Okay, the other merits and recognitions, she has received numerous merits uh, from various platforms. Um, her story has appeared in almost 500 media coverage worldwide. Media coverage at social news sites, media coverage at social media, media coverage at ma in magazines. Her art and story has also been covered um, in the magazines. And also interview session, documentaries about her work have been uh, broadcasted on television and also YouTube. She also uh, called for live interviews at various radio stations. And Ajamila has broken many barriers at an incredibly young age and is an inspiration to the world. 
So my sacrifice and hard work have finally uh, paid off uh, when I successfully turned my daughter from a cocoon into a beautiful butterfly that flies high throughout the world. The change I was avoiding was the one that gave me wings. It transformed me into a new spirit of evaluation. Now I share my nodding. Like a continuous journey of transformation, this is Jamila Winch at birth at, two, at one year old, two years old, five years old, six years old, seven years old, eight years old, 10 years old, 11, 13, 14, 16, 17, and now at 18. So Jamila has improved in the following aspect uh, with art therapy, behavior, interaction, communication, understanding and comprehending and responsibility. So what she cannot do before, now she can do. And she has overcome most of her challenges except for some of her sensory challenges such as um, sensitivity to bright light and also uh, loud and high pitch sound. So 2020 is a very memorable year in history due to COVID-19 global pandemic that has impacted everyone in the world. But this is the year Ajamila spread her wings globally by flying like an eagle. You know, she was appointed as a young impact artist for a foundation in Switzerland, 2020-2022, uh, and was featured as a creative youth in World Generation Z uh, article by Agency France Press uh, based in Paris. She also won four international awards and collaborated with two global companies, Alibaba and For The Book for merchandise products. Her biography was also introduced, uh, included in an in, in video called British Pedia and the successful people in Malaysia. So all birds find shelter during a rain, and but the eagle avoids rain by flying. The clouds. Therefore, we have the option to decide whether to crawl, walk, run, or fly in our travel. So, uh, when I this is a summary of our milestone, uh, a different phase, another phase. This is the third phase, fourth phase, and also uh, the last phase until today. Okay, so. She mostly has set emotions uh, in her early years when she cannot speak and read. And a reading lesson with the dyslexia therapist, uh, she was happy that she drew that. And after that, I started to um, teach her once she's able to read. Um, uh, but of course, in primary when there is no support aid, uh, she's not happy because the pencil box got missing every day. Every problem is a gift, so without problem, we would not grow. So that problem, with that, uh, with making her repeat, she started to draw happy emotions at 10 years old after she is able to read and talk because her friends accepted her well. So in here, uh, uh, let's say happiness can exist only in acceptance by Josh Orwell. Happy come children and best, Daniel Coleman. So her creation of art is purely from her soul without any formal art education and she has developed a distinctive personal style. These are the moments that she draw, um, you know, the summary that I've showed you earlier and also, you know, the holidays and the weather, the dance, the teachers and the uh, water sports. The success of my daughter is not by magic, it is through a journey of hardship. I got to customize my own workable solutions for Jamila with a learning system uh, that is people-centered. That means I based on her reaction, based on her, her ability and how we re react to it and based on her pace. Um, that um, that is focusing on the outcome of understanding application discovery character building social skill speaking turn survival skills so nothing in life comes easy everything comes with a sacrifice rihanna my secret is very simple abundance of hurdles bring abundance joy and parents need to be in their children's life today to be in their memories tomorrow the reason why i write this is because she puts everything into her drawing, then I realized that I do not want Jamila to draw uh, me uh, with, um, you know, not a nice moment. So 
because of that i become a nicer person i was a very nasty person before so dare to change and also take chances and endure new challenges embrace darkness and change and you can only see light in darkness the butterfly that makes a home of its cocoon will never fly and if you change nothing nothing will change so autism is uh, differently able they are uh, every autistic is different and they are unique Okay, these are all some of the famous uh, autistic in the world. Uh, Einstein, Mary Temple, uh, Temple Grandin, Lawrence Kimpig, Leslie Lemke, Alonzo Clement, and also Stephen Wilshire. Okay, uh, Albert Einstein is a planet scientist, theory of relativity. And Mary Temple Grandin is an animal empathy. She can communicate with the animal through her mind. She even designed uh, the Standard abattoir design, um, you know, where you slaughter the the uh, the cow. Um, so her her design template is used by uh, people, architects all over the world now. And Lawrence came. She can. He can. He's a spirit reader and memorize all details that are in a book uh, within a split second. And the magical musician Leslie Kent Lemke. He, he can uh, play the music without, you know, any formal education in music. She, by, just by listening, she, he can play the, the piano. So an incredible sculptor, uh, um, Alonzo Clement. He can do the sculpture of the horse just by looking at the horse without, like, uh, you know, uh, using any new technology. And Stephen Wilshire, the human camera, he drew the entire cityscape from his memory, uh, cityscape of uh, New York. Yeah. So Jamila draw events she experienced from her memories, like the school concert, she sketched it on paper, and this is her recent painting, Sounds of Music. So that is why I named her um, Art Jamila, a masterpiece of memories. So I hope you can see here that, um, you know, why she becomes successful is be, um, like the other uh, autistic um, successful people they, they explore on their natural inborn talent so after that it's easy you know for them to to progress so to parents with asd child never give up harness their inborn talents polish their talent and make it shine and always strive to enrich and enhance their life whenever possible. And children are like a white canvas. It is the parents' duty to paint it with the correct technique, using the correct brush to turn the painting into a masterpiece. So maybe, uh, you know, you need to look at all the different positive uh, strength of um, autism. So, uh, you know, wherever uh, your kid like, fall. I mean, uh, some some autistic they are very good with visual. Some autistic they are good with language. You know, so um, explore that and you try to make it shine. Start with what is right rather than what is acceptable, and the desire must come from the child, not not you know what the child wants to be, not what we want the child to be. To educators. To educators meaning also to the ministry. Everyone is born different and learns differently. Therefore, the application of standard way of learning is not appropriate. Modular system is more flexible to accommodate a visual thinker than and different learning pace. Reason I say this is one of the reasons why I make a turn back, I make a U-turn and decided to change my direction was um, I have lost one year at primary school because I repeat Jamila. And then when I moved her into uh, secondary school, uh, I lost a year also because I was under treatment okay, operation and all that. So if I want to put Jamila to do the government curriculum in the inclusive program, I don't have uh, any chance to repeat her uh, if she cannot do it, you know, if she needs to repeat it uh, to follow her pace of learning. Uh, therefore, I might, might, not, might as well not to waste time. So I changed my mind for two reasons. So I customized my own workable solution for Jamila with a learning system that is people-centered uh, with the outcome of what I mentioned earlier. Um, you see, when, uh, when, you, when we are so structured, 
like we have like uh, we cannot sit for SPM after you are 19 years old. So that is actually a stumbling block. Uh, it's a really, really broad block for children like 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 uh, who is learn slowly, who learn at a different pace. So we should not uh, do that. We should allow the flexibility to all children. Okay, this is Jamila and our information on our web, our website and all our social media link. Um, and it's my voice and it is poetry. That's Jamila. So one doesn't have the perfect to uh, one doesn't have to be perfect to achieve big dreams. Thank you. Puan Jamila, can you on your video? Uh, tadi tu tak dengar ya apa saya cakap. Uh, oh, dengar, dengar. It was good. Mana, kat mana? Kat video ni? Mm -hmm. Where do I click? Oh, start video. Okay, uh -huh. sorry. Okay. Nampak? I... I've already on. Yes, yes, we can see you. Okay. Uh, thank you so much, Architect Nohashima. That was a very fruitful session. And to see what has Jamila achieved in her life is so amazing. And it, it, it is all due to your hard work. We would say that you have done a very good job in creating the path for Jamila to be what she has become now. Okay, so now it is the time for the Q&A session. Previously, our committee members have compiled a few questions from the Q&A box. So now I will let, I will let Puan Zarina to take the floor. Okay, Assalamualaikum Puan. Assalam. Okay, there's, uh, we, we, we see uh, a lot of questions uh, coming from the participants. Okay, let me just read it out for you uh, because it, I think this is the easiest way for you to answer the uh, question uh, through by the uh, participants. Okay, um, uh, the first question, um, let me mute you first. Okay, uh, the first question uh, coming from Ms. Suk Kwen Chow. Okay, uh, thank you and congratulations, uh, Architect Noashima, on the inspiring sharing. Uh, there are several questions following this. Okay, uh, in your current path towards art, Jamila's art profession, can you share uh, first what impact your decision to continue uh, the pay, uh, speech, and OT? Is it clear, clear, right? And then second question: uh, What outcomes are you hoping about? Believe she achieved. I think I think that is the question lah. Okay, and the third one is how long do you believe these therapies need to be sustained? Okay, my the first question is about the impact of the speech therapies. Um, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, the impact of the speech therapies is also is also must be, it's very good because um, uh, without the speech, without her being able to read, I cannot help her. She will not be where she is now. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so it is enormous. Uh, honestly, uh, she only make my daughter read and speak within three months using uh, a technique from uh, dyslexic. Uh, they use uh, Fizroy software or something like that, the name. Um, so, uh, and then after that, I continue having session with her for about one and a half years. And after that, I stopped because, um, uh, well, uh, because Jamila is improved already and I, I, I need a lot of time to, uh, you know, to, to guide her with her academy. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah. I think I think that's answer a part of the question. Uh, and uh, the second one, what outcomes are you hoping and believe that she can achieve something like that? Okay. Um. In in her profession, I you know I just let let it flow. Um. For um, I mean, she have a name already, and and you know um let her work uh, at her own pace so that in future uh, she can have her own 
gallery, formal art gallery. Currently, we only have home gallery. And, um, um, you know, I, I don't have any therapies uh, seeing her uh, at the moment. Uh, the last therapist was uh, um, when when um, in secondary school, I wanted uh, to send her to a center uh, to improve about her comprehension at the Benitos. But of course, at that time, I was not 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 healthy uh, with all my my treatment. I I can't I I cannot take the the traveling and also the waiting. So I stop and and I just do everything myself at home. I think that answered the question. So another question comes from uh, Ms. Sweet Yin Su. Uh, may I know how do you decide on how to draw out a homeschooling plan? As different autistic children uh, might have different talents and how would you suggest to parents to obtain any guide to draw out the direction of learning pathway for their kids? Okay, uh, that is, um, it can, I can say it's simple or it can be difficult. I said it's simple is because uh, at first I create the art as a core subject. Okay, what do you need to learn about art? You need to learn uh, scheduling, you need to learn maths because she needs to learn maths, uh, you know, mixing colors and everything, proportion, percentage. So uh, art is art and uh, I support, you know, uh, I create another small uh, subjects on, on, on how, uh, on maths. That is, I select the subject that is required for art. I mean, I don't give the full curriculum of maths. All right. And then she needs to socialize. Okay, I don't give her the full curriculum of, you know, uh, what the university do, uh, how to socialize. So I only select what is important for her, how to present, how to explain her art. So that will naturally improve her in every aspect. But of course, uh, I want her to be uh, to be independent, right? Because um, uh, everybody will die, isn't it? So I want her to be independent when she don't have her parents with her. So um, she have to learn how to survive, um, how to do laundry, how to do cleaning, how to even prepare breakfast. So to, to, up to today, she prepare her own breakfast. Okay. And the reason why I I can do the curriculum easily is because um, I have the experience given when I was uh, in UITM as a uh, head of program to revise the university's uh, curriculum. So I use that knowledge uh, to design her curriculum. I think I can understand your answer. Uh, so another questions come from Mr. Khairul. Uh, what your opinion on PPKI's impact on autistic child's progress? Uh, okay, um, Jamila spent about one and a half years in PPKI because when I first sent her to uh, the secondary school, um, they put her in uh, PPKI. Um, all right, PPKI, they have a good philosophy at Jabatan Pendidikan Negeri. Okay, that is to teach the children at uh, their individual capacity. But the problem is um, uh, the ministry need to educate the PPKI teachers on how to implement it, all right? Because uh, when Jamila was there, uh, she, the, the implementation of the subjects are all standardized. So Jamila, uh, she's able to do like 100,000 subdivision and everything. But when she, uh, over there, the curriculum is very low, like, like a primary standard. So she complained to me that it's too easy she doesn't want to go to school. And uh, so when there is no excitement for her, because she don't, uh, so, um, um, you know, she's not excited. And I decided uh, also for, for two reasons, uh, to take her out from school. Uh, because um, first, PT Tiger is not designed for autistic, um, I mean, for my child, okay, maybe other autistic can do, but not for my child because Jamila is weak in comprehension and composition. So, um, uh, and secondly, it's because of my health. Um, I mean, there's a lot of work that the government needs to do on PPKI because uh, over there, they just mix uh, all child. I mean, uh, for instance, uh, Down syndrome, they are good, they can talk, they, they, they have the social ability. 
but you know, autistic they don't you see so they need to have a program where to me i feel uh, they can be together um in class but uh, autistic need to have a special pull out session which uh, uh they need like one-to-one -one session that's what the school in primary school that i sent jamila did last time you see, like Jamila cannot do English um, because she cannot do comprehension and composition uh, at school. So they, during uh, English, they pull her out and, and they have a special class for her, um, which we have to pay extra uh, for one to one session. So maybe that is a very good uh, because I see a lot of improvement in Jamila after that. Okay, I I think I hope that will answer the uh, question asked by uh, Mr. Tyrol. Also, another question asked uh, by um, Ms. Akmano. My son is 13 years old this year with ASD. Do you suggest any tools or method to identify his true potential on any particular area such as arts, like singing, painting, uh, as for now, he is really obsessed with football to a certain extent. He can memorize all the teams as well as the player worldwide. Wow. <laughs> that is that is extraordinary. Okay. Now, the thing, uh, remember I showed in my PowerPoint all the different ability by all the different autistic uh, world famous uh, autism, uh, ASD. Okay. Uh, you need to observe. Okay, firstly, the, the rule is you must uh, make them uh, go into an area where they like best, where naturally they want to draw, naturally they want to do things. Like in his case, naturally he loves football, he loves he love statistics because he, he can remember, right, all the, all the, the names. Uh, I, 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 I don't know. So maybe you need to search more. Maybe send him to. Um, there is a center in Subanjaya, which I I never send Jamila, uh, don't because I don't have time. And uh, uh, the, over there you can explore all the different technology, different uh, different skills. Uh, because I see that if he can remember the football names, numbers, uh, that means he is towards, you know. Uh, like data collection, um, good memory, things like that. Something that he enjoyed doing. Okay, thank you for the answer. Uh, next question come from Mr. Uh, Ayat. Ayat, okay. Uh, I want to ask if there are any teaching aids that you provided or invented to help Jamila to sharpen her motor skills in drawing at early stage when you realize she can draw. Okay, uh, I don't have any tools because Jamila naturally can draw uh, since small. So she will he, she will just take any pencil, any pen or any paper. I even have to hide all my important papers because sometimes she just simply draw and sketch. So that's uh, her inborn uh, skill. Um, I don't have any problem with that. The only the only thing that I remember is I bought her the pencil with the triangle section pencil, to, so that it's easy for her to grip. Yeah, um, that's all. Other than that, uh, you know, she don't need uh, that pencil actually. She just simply draw. Okay. Um. Uh, the next question come from again from the same person. Um. Quen uh, so Quen Chai. I think the same person. Okay, with such uh, with such an illustri illustrious success, is there any plan for Jamila and your achievement to be transferred to other potential artists or internationally? Uh, meaning, I don't understand. Um, oh, I think she asking. Uh, do you have any plan to transfer all the knowledge uh, or the we call it? all the achievement uh, with other potential autistic artists locally and internationally? Um, well, I'm sharing it now about her journey. Um, um, uh, um, yes, I mean, um, when I, uh, if I have the capability to share, I will continue to share. 
but at the moment the the way i'm sharing it is uh by doing uh public sharing but of course like in future if possible you know when i have if i have the health i i probably like you know conduct session because um, maybe jamila can start like teaching um the way she draw um things like that i don't know i i just let it flow you know um uh, maybe next year we will start something. Uh, okay, uh, there is one request from uh, Ms. Akma. Uh, could you mention again the name of the center at Subang Jaya? <laughs> oh, uh, okay. I have to look into my handphone uh, the name of the center. Be uh, I, I cannot remember because I did not send Jamila over there. But I did recommend a few parents to uh, when their child are good in IT, uh, computer, um, animation, uh, and she sent the son there and, and she said, she gave a very positive feedback that the son enjoyed doing it. Um, so maybe you can like like message to me, you have my handphone right, uh, in the last page, I put the handphone number there. Uh, so when I get the we, number, I will We will share you. the slide with the, uh, uh, with the audience uh, later lah after the event. Okay. okay uh, uh, the next question come from Miss Nick Nadia. Uh, mm -hmm. She asked, did she go for art classes when she was younger? That is the first question. The second one, as you taught her things that are applicable for her arts, like you said, percentage for color mix and etc. Do you find it is easier do you find it easy for her to understand the concept rather than teaching it like how the school teacher, how the school teach things? Okay, uh, question number one, art class. No, I did not send her to any art class. Uh, but I did call uh, an artist to, um, uh, you know, to, to give comments on her art. Uh, first, of course, um, uh, in the slide, I show that um, I call artists to comment, to give a curatorial view on her art, whether I should continue uh, her her profession as an art, as an artist. Um, so, uh, and then I, from time to time, I do have creative session with artists um, to comment on Jamila's work. Okay, but I did not send her to any like like a proper art classes like that no because um uh, a lot of artists initially when i asked them they said uh is since jamila already have her own uh niche uh, don't send her to any art class because then i will spoil her unique uh technique of drawing because she will tend to follow the artist the way the artist draw uh, so because of that i don't send her to classes and the, the second question, the color mixing. The color mixing is, well, I bought the, the wheel of color. So I teach Jamila that all the different colors, like if you want to have uh, the this certain pastel color, you have to mix this color and this color, the chart will give you the answer. But uh, even without that, Jamila like to explore, I mean, mixing colors early on. Uh, so it's not a problem with me. Okay, uh, this, uh, the question, uh, the next question comes from the same person, uh, Ms. Akmano. How do, how to discover their uniqueness? Uh, prior to this, he is more into drawing to describe his feeling and now he really like to watch TV, especially sport news and watching football match. The one with the son that uh, love football is now. Oh, uh, he also loves to draw. Yeah, seems like uh, prior to this, he is more into drawing to describe his feeling, but now change. Change I into football. Change into football because uh, that's a new discovery. And he is 13. Mm. Okay. Uh, ask, her, ask, ask him to draw the, the football, in, put it in, into drawing and see whether, whether can he like, he enjoy doing it or not. So if he enjoy doing it, I mean, he can do, do art you know, or, or if you don't, so maybe you need to like send him to, uh, um, you know, other centers 
to uh, to try to to explore on other other you know um, uh, skills related to what he likes. Okay, I think I get it. I mean, I think the uh, person who asked the question also get uh, what's it, what you mean. Um, and then there is, uh, this is a question lah. This is from uh, Ms. Fit Yin Su. Uh, she hoped that uh, the video will be longer available. Okay, but uh, to tell all the audience, uh, we have streamed our uh, today's webinar into uh, YouTube. Okay, our channel NRC. You can always um, open our YouTube channel and rewatch today's webinar okay, as many as you like. Okay, um, I think that's all. That uh, that's all that we can uh, uh, catch from the chat box and also the uh, the Q and A box. Uh, there's a lot of. Uh, and a few, a few, a few uh, audience uh, say something that they are very impressed with you and Jamila's artwork. I think uh, one you can see it in the chat box, right? Ah, uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, I can see it here. Is it? Okay. Uh, this chat box okay. today is from Miss Julian Wong. Uh, from from who? Uh, from Mr. Suresh. Uh, okay. And then upon uh, what else? Okay, again from Mr. Cairo, they are all saying thanks to you. Um, okay, I'm due to that. Okay, since um, we have already answered all the, uh, there is one more, one more from Mr. Switch. Okay, one more. Let me, I think this is the last question. Uh, how can Teachers and parents work together to identify the talents or skills in children. And secondly, uh, what training do you recommend for teachers to learn to identify talents or skills? This is from Mr. Suresh. Okay. Um, well, previously, uh, this, uh, I, I was invited to give a talk at Manipal Hospital. There's one teacher who attended my talk. That is the best teacher I've ever, ever met. She told us me that one of the, the, the students love to do, I cannot remember what is it already, but then she take the, the you know, uh, she's very passionate and, 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 and she said that uh, she tried to tell the parents, but the parents just said no. So if only we have that kind of teacher, all over Malaysia. Can you imagine how wonderful it will be? Okay. So therefore, what I want to say is here. Um, um, maybe what uh, ministry, education ministry need to do is not to just tell, okay, who goes to PPKI, who goes to the Perdana. You have to ask them, like, who have the passion to teach PPKI. Well, uh, people with passion, will only have the, the courage, you know, and, and the interest uh, to BPKI students. And um, uh, like um, Jamila and myself, also lucky, because the teachers in Sri Kumar, they are very helpful. Um, they will tell me uh, the, the good and the bad things that Jamila do at school. So from there, I will take on and improve her on, on the negative parts and then the positive parts, I will uh, polish it, you know. Uh, so teachers and also the parents have to work together because during the day um, your child is with the school and with the, with the teachers and and at home is with you. So therefore, but I know parents are busy. But uh, in my case, uh, I I just have to sacrifice other things because um, I really have need the time for my child and 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 my um. Uh, and the, the school teachers, I, mean, I always communicate with the teachers, uh, with the school. Uh, and the school also have a communication book. Uh, maybe if the school don't have, you can you can request um, uh, with, the, with the school, uh, can have a special communication book, like uh, Jamila cannot speak. So the teacher will write in the book, uh, what did Jamila do? Jamila did not do homework, Jamila just play. Uh, at that time, I don't have a support teacher because uh, the school only allow anti standard three. So the communication book really have a lot, and the teacher will write there, and I come back and look at it. 
early in the morning, I will go to the school at 7.30 to read whatever is on the board. Uh, because the school always have um, a column which is untouchable by the children where the teachers will write all the homework there. So I will go and double check. So that, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a, it's a two-way uh, communication. It's like you need to collaborate with the school. Okay, let's see. Uh, hope it answered the uh, question by Mr. Suresh. I think we can take one more last question. Eh? Uh, this is from uh, Miss Murni. Salam. Uh, Assalamualaikum. Selain dari Puan sebagai ibu, apa peranan orang sekeliling terutama sibling of Jamila dalam pembentukan karakter Ad Jamila? Okay. Um, oleh kerana I cuma ada uh, tiga anak kan sebab dua dah meninggal. So yang seorang tu yang jadi doktor tu, dia memang sibuk lah dekat uh, dia punya A buat A level lepas tu pergi overseas. Jadi um, sekali-sekala uh, bila sekarang ni dia selalu lah balik sebab dia dah jadi doktor dah ada masa kan masa dekat overseas jarang sekali. Jadi uh, adik dia lah yang banyak uh, kena bantu I. Sebenarnya That's why Jamila always draw the three ladies. Is that is because of me, um, her sister and also herself. Um, Jamila, Jemima banyak membantu I, adik kepada Jamila. Uh, tapi masalah dia, you know there is some psychology effect on my younger daughter. Uh, so di situ I punya kesilapan lah sebabnya uh, my youngest daughter have to sacrifice her, her, her childhood life for Jamila. Uh, so now I have to do a lot of rectification work to to bring her back. I mean to make her feel important uh, and give priority to her also. And it is not easy actually to have an autistic child. Yeah, and the siblings also have to sacrifice. Yeah. Okay. Looking at the uh, at the chat box, it seems that most of the participants are very impressed uh, with your uh, the achievement of both of you. And as a mom to a special need uh, child, also I feel so impressed. You know, I cannot beat you. It's, oh my God! Oh my God! You are so hardworking, mom. Uh, with your cancer, you may God bless you, may God give you strength, may God uh, give you good health in the future. Okay, it seems that we reached the end of the session. Uh, I'll pass back the microphone to our uh, MC, Anu Patricia. Okay, uh, it looks like all the questions have been answered. So, Arkitek Noah Shema, is there anything else you would like to mention? Uh, well, um, just, uh, you know, learn to live with the situation and uh, I know it's not easy. Uh, I I mean, I went through it. It is not easy to have an autistic child. Um, uh, you need to be physically strong. You need to be emotionally strong. And uh, you know, the people around uh, you must be understanding. You know, if you know, uh, like, 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 Uh, a, a parent or a family who have autistic child, you know, don't add on more misery, don't add on more burden, uh, you know, emotionally to them. Understand them, don't complain, you know, like like some family members, they complain that, you know, you don't give attention to this, you, you know, you're a horrible person or whatever. No, you need to understand, autistic parents, they have to go through a lot of things. So, Um, understand them, you know, uh, embrace them. Uh, and autistic parents also have to, like, learn to ignore. Like, in my case, okay, whoever, like, is damaging to to me, uh, to my uh, to my moral, uh, you know, to my, my brain, to my mind, uh, I will just ignore them. So, learn to ignore. Focus uh, on your child. Thank you, Akita and Oshima, for your questions and valuable experiences and time. I am sure all of us, including today's audience, have gained a lot of information that will be beneficial to our future autistic children. As for the audience, please feel free to fill up the form for each certificate and jump latihan for your items. Please remember to provide correct and as that will be used to print. 
Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I think this is the end of our webinar for today. On behalf of our professor for National Education Resource Center at UC, we would like to extend our deepest appreciation and gratitude to all of our distinguished participants for being here with us today. We hope to see you again in our next week webinar, which is next week. Thank you. Um. Hmm. One again, uh, uh, please don't log out yet. Yeah, I will be in the uh, we call that we'll stop the live streaming and we'll.